Welcome to Turning Point, My Turning Point, by Jeff Knuth. When I was a little kid, people always used to ask me, what do you want to be when you grow up? As a farm kid growing up in Wisconsin on our family dairy farm, most people anticipated that I would say I wanted to become a farmer like my dad, or a teacher like my mom. But for as long as I can remember, I wanted to be a cop. My infatuation with becoming a cop started around 1989 at the ripe old age of five when I first watched the cult classic movie Police Academy. Despite being rated R, I snuck a peek and watched the film because my older sister had rented it and was watching it with some friends. Everything about the movie was exciting. Guns, badges, fast cars. Paired with classic humor and the overarching theme that being a cop is the best job ever. At this first turning point in my life, again at the ripe old age of five, I knew I wanted to become a law enforcement officer, and that's precisely what came to fruition by the time I was 21, just with a few unexpected twists and turns along the way. All right, welcome back. So strategy one in our reading was return to your origins, the primal inclination strategy. Picking up back on my life story, as life would have it, uh, I ended up escaping farm life in 2000 when I was 16 years old due to a tragic farming accident where our dairy bull killed my dad. That summer, I moved in with my mom, the school teacher, in a new town with a new school and new friends. Despite the unexpected changes, my goal of pursuing a career in law enforcement did not change. My only dilemma was that I was 16 and 21 seemed an eternity away. As you become more sophisticated, you often lose touch with these signals from your primal core. They can be buried beneath the, all the other objects you have studied. The school year following my dad's death, to fast forward and stay on track for my dream job, I elected to take police science college classes during my senior year of high school. As the universe sometimes does, it sent me a sign September 11th, 2001, while sitting in a juvenile justice class at Madison Area Technical College. The sign was a fork in the road and a turning point, stay in college or earn my degree, or go into the military and learn real world skills. Strategy two of the reading is occupy the perfect niche. So at the age of 17, I went on active duty and enlisted for four years in the U.S. Army Airborne Infantry, where I served in the 82nd Airborne Division and deployed to Afghanistan and Iraq almost back to back. Having joined the Army, I knew I still wanted to pursue a career in law enforcement. But since I had to wait until I was 21 anyways, it seemed being in the Army was a worthwhile use of my time. You have freedom to roam, to pursue particular questions that interest you, set your own agenda, and command the resources available to this niche. I would say jumping out of airplanes while it's within a certain niche. In January 2006, at age 21, I finished my first enlistment with the Army and applied to the local sheriff's office to become a deputy sheriff. Before I knew it, I was hired, completed my basic academy, and was assigned as a patrol deputy, living my dream as being a cop. Having achieved my dream job, I planned on staying in law enforcement as a deputy sheriff for the foreseeable future, possibly going to the FBI Academy at some point, but at this point, I had it all. The gun, the badge, and the sometimes fast car. The best part was, I loved being a deputy sheriff as much as I thought I would. Serving in the Army was great, but serving my local community in a law enforcement capacity capacity was exactly what I had always wanted. Every day that I went to work, I put on my uniform and went in service, knowing that I would help someone in my community and that each day would bring new experiences, good and bad. The next strategy I talked about in the reading is avoid false paths, the rebellion strategy. is a little bit rebellious to 
The first few years of working in law enforcement are my fondest. I did the job I had always dreamed and genuinely looked forward to going to work each day. As in the past, the universe interjected again with a new path. I opened my mailbox one day from the U.S. Army to return to active duty. This recall was due to the troop search. I had to go on reserve status with my law enforcement agency and return to active duty in the Army for almost eight years. From the reading, it is, healthy, it is a healthy part of your development to follow a path independent of your parents and establish your own identity. After completing my active duty requirements in the Army, I planned to return to the Sheriff's Office as a full-time patrol deputy. Unfortunately, the universe had other plans, and due to an oversight in the Human Resources Office, my law enforcement officer certification had lapsed a little while before coming back, meaning I would have to go back to the basic academy. Not something I really wanted to do. The next strategy is strategy four, let go of your past, the adaptation strategy. Letting go of your past. At this turning point, I took this development as another fork in the road and went down my current path to pursuing higher education and becoming a criminal justice instructor. With years of experience in the military and law enforcement, I decided to strengthen my education and share the lessons I have learned with others. In May of 2017, I earned my North Carolina Criminal Justice Instructor Certification, and in December of 2020, I completed my bachelor's degree in Digital Forensics and Cybersecurity. Green writes, or in the reading by Green, it states, it is not up to others to protect or help you. You are on your own. By following my current path since 2018, I've served as a program coordinator for law enforcement certification for my local community college and have been able to teach in the basic law enforcement training academy. The main goal that I want to accomplish in my chosen industry is bringing world-class education and training to law enforcement officers while using technology to make law enforcement training more engaging and impactful. Strategy is finding your way back, the life or death strategy. My life's path has not always gone as well as I would have hoped. Things considered, I really cannot complain. Green's right. It states, your life's task does not always appear to you through some grand or promising inclination. It can appear in the guise of your deficiencies, making you focus on the one or two things that you are inevitably good at. I believe my dream career path is one, the one that I am on right now. As a program coordinator, school director, and instructor, I hope to continue to accomplish the mission of serving the ones who serve our community and simultaneously focus on, on creating vitally essential training materials to teach and mold the new generation of law enforcement officers. In reality, up until this point, my dream career had, has gone full circle. The movie Police Academy sparked my interest in becoming a law enforcement officer, but also showed me that the academy is the core of the profession of law enforcement. Ultimately, law enforcement officers could not safely or effectively do their jobs without the academy's education and follow-up in service training. I find it ironic daily that I work for a law enforcement academy, and that my most common greeting response of the day is I've been living my dream. The two SMART goals that I'm working on is first that I need to get back into the groove of classes. I haven't done this for a while. I will focus on completing my assignments before the week's end so that way it leaves the weekends open for family. My second SMART goal is make more friends. At least network and make at least one friend in the program and hopefully have somebody to be a soundboard. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.